What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create an intro for your live streams because let's say that you want to have like a countdown, for example, of two minutes. So anytime you're going live and you want to like tell people important stuff. So people tuning in after like maybe five minutes, they have missed like a really important stuff. So let's say that you want to have a timer for two minutes or five minutes, whatever. You guys, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to actually import that into your live stream. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe, if you're new as always and I would say let's get started right after the intro. So right now I would like to introduce you guys to own3d.tv, the ultimate website to get your resource for live streaming, whether it's overlays, alerts, alert sounds, panels, stinger transitions, sub emotes, sub badges, bit badges, website for streamers, an avatar maker, everything that you need to get started live streaming is on this website. No matter if you're looking for streaming overlays, gaming overlays itself, talking overlays, webcam overlays, stream panels, stream banners, these panels when somebody donates that pops up during your live stream. Everything is on this website, guys. They have a ton of excellent ranked reviews on Trustpilot as well. Everything comes in high quality that you can download right away, guys. It is really cool. Check the link in the description. Start downloading today and improve your live streams. Now, let's continue with the video. All right, guys. So now that we are in Twitch Studio, what you need is a MP4 file of your intro itself. So you can create an intro with, for example, like with a nice gradient background and like text with like starting soon, for example. You can also add in a countdown and anything you want. So then you want to export that out as an MP4 file and we're gonna go drag that into Twitch Studio. Now I want to mention that we're not going to insert that into our current scene because we want to actually switch scene from the intro to our actual stream. So what we need to do is we're going to click on primarily. Right now I'm going to rename this by right clicking and then I'm just going to call this intro. So we know that that is the scene we need to start out with. Okay, so the only thing what we need to do now is actually actually customize it. So we're going to click on this plus icon on the layer section and we want to pick media. Okay, so now this box appears and on the very right, we have to select the MP4 file that we have exported as our intro. And right here, this is my stream intro. So I'm going to double click on there and then I'm going to click on select. Now we're going to mute the audio for now, otherwise it will be a little bit distracting. So this is basically our stream intro. Now we're going to just place this one into the corner and then we're going to stretch it all across across the screen until it fits. So this is basically what people will see when you turn on your stream, when you start on your intro scene. So this is how you add in an intro in Twitch Studio, guys. Like I've mentioned, just create one yourself. I just created one with like thunder and like stream starting soon. I have some particles flying up as well, along with my social media accounts in the bottom left corner. I just exported it and you can basically add in a song, for example. Most songs are between three to five minutes. I have a countdown of like like three minutes or five minutes or like however long you want. And then you can just export it out, load it into Twitch Studio, and then you can have like this nice intro for your live streams. It is that simple. So guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to go ahead and check out own3d.tv for all the assets that you need in terms of like live streaming and all that. Thanks a lot for them for sponsoring this video. I wanna thank guys for watching. If you like this video, smash the like button down below and subscribe for more tutorials. And I will see you guys obviously in my next video.